Gulf Coast is a popular place to live because of its incredible natural beauty. Perhaps no contemporary artist has captured its unique ecology better than George Rodrigue. At a recent appearance at Brass's bookstore, Rodrigue described how he translates his native Louisiana onto the canvas. Well, early on, I painted the oak trees, you know, and I decided that Louisiana was, the oak tree was a symbol for my style of painting. And uh, in my mind, I kept, kept it in that abstract quality. And so the mushiness, the humidity, the mosquitoes, the mystery, you know, the swamps, the alligators, all of that threw in, it's like a gumbo. <laughs> you know, you throw it in the mix, and, and that's what, what I wanted to early uh, capture in Louisiana, how different we were. You know, we had a different language, we had a, had a different voice, we had a different look. It's a lot of mystery in Louisiana because of the darkness. And uh, that's, uh, that's what my early paintings reflected, just, just this mystery, voodoo, and and, and the timelessness that the swamps gave him. His most recent book, Blue Dog Speaks, examines how the artist also incorporates the region's rich culture into his work, using both images and words to comment on the ironies of Gulf Coast life. My early paintings of Blue Dogs, I, I used a, a lot of song titles to, to try to capture, put a new spin on it. And I use a lot of Hank Williams' titles, you know, take these chains from my heart and set me free, and uh, a lot of things, and then paint something that's completely different that you would think. So this book really reflects uh, the titles. It's just as important as the as a painting, and sometimes there's a different spin put on it. So I was always, you know, intrigued about really t titles and really showing something that was different, what the title you think means, but something else happens when you see the painting. Rodrigue has been deeply involved in relief efforts since Hurricane Katrina, and has been gratified to see Louisianans adopt Blue Dog as a mascot for recovery. Well, after Katrina, I did these relief prints, and the reaction of the people who were actually buying the prints, a lot of them said, this is, you know, the, the minute I get my insurance check, I'm going to buy something for my new house. And that kind of brought everybody together. Uh, there was a website, NOLA.com, which everybody went to, and we advertised the prints on there, a relief effort. And they saw it, the print there, and they reacted by buying thousands and thousands of prints. And it sort of gave us a purpose, you know, a, a, new, a new rebuilding, you know, because the first one was We Will Rise Again, and then I did uh, Throw Me Something Fever, and Saints will keep marching in. And, uh, they were all local terms that everybody was familiar with, but because it's the Blue Dog, it gave a different spin to it. And it, uh, Blue Dog really became the symbol of New Orleans, I think, after Katrina, because it was, it was something that everyone gravitated to. For artists and art fans rebuilding the Texas Gulf Coast art scene after Hurricane Ike, Rodrigue encourages patience, both with rebuilding efforts and with themselves. Well, in New Orleans, after the hurricane, you know, artists flew out all over the country. You know, New Orleans artists left, and, and they've been slow to come back. Uh, because it's, it's a real devastating uh, experience, you know. It's, it's not uplifting at all, and it's, it's hard to come back, you know. I think the, uh, the people need, need to accept them when they come back, but it's, it's a very, very difficult thing, to, especially for artists, you know. It's because uh, if you if you live in the moment, you want to go to a place where it's it's nice and clean and fresh, and 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 the stigma is gone. So these hurricanes, they may last only three, or f I mean five or six hours, but you know they, they last really two or three years. And New Orleans, after three years, is just now coming back with the arts and the and the music, and the, it's fine right now. But it takes a long time. For more information on the art of George Rodrigue, visit his website at www.georgerodrigue.com. Thanks to Brazos Bookstore for letting us sit in on the artist's presentation. For Artbeat, I'm Stacy Hawkins.